So the next one is fossils. By studying the fossils, we can understand the evolutionary relationships. So what are fossils? The dead remains of plants and animals that are buried under the ground. Generally, when an organism is died and buried under the ground, it will be decomposed by the bacteria. So nothing remains in the mud, everything mixes up with the soil. But in certain cases, in certain circumstances, certain remains of the organisms or maybe the complete organism are preserved under the earth in some different situations for a very long period. So these things are obtained when we dig, when the excavation is done. So there, by studying that fossil, you can understand the evolutionary relationship. But how do they estimate how old the fossil is? How do they estimate what is the age of the fossil that they found? So they find uh, different kind of things, the bones of animals, sometimes the trunk of trees, the leaves are also trapped in the rock. When the lava is molten, something is trapped in the air spaces of the lava and it is trapped. And some insect or some fish, it might got caught in the hot mud, so which is packed. So by that, the body of the organism is not destroyed and the mud becomes hardened and it stays there for thousands and thousands of years. When somebody digs there, historians, they dig in the earth, excavations they do, archaeology, archaeologists, they find out the traces of history, the proofs for the history, even for evolution. So they may find such kind of fossils. So by studying this fossil, they can understand the relationship. But how do they study here? How do they estimate the age of the fossil by two methods? One is a relative method. Relative method means the layers of the earth, at which layer it is found. So we may found the bones of the dinosaur and the bottom layer because millions of years ago they become extinct. And they may find the bones of some other bird like Dodo in the recent because it got recently extinct. So the recently extinct animal remains are found in the top layers because the earth is covered layer by layer. From time to time layers are formed. So the fossils are found so deep, those are so old. The fossils that are found in the top, those are recent. So this is the relative method. The other one is finding the ratios of isotopes of the minerals found in the fossil. This is called as carbon dating technique. So by finding the isotopes, the ratios of isotopes of the minerals found in the fossil. So whatever the fossil they collect from that fossil, they take the sample, they find the ratios of the isotopes of the mineral in the fossil. So by that they can estimate the age of the fossil. So fossils also give the proof about the evolution. So most of the things about the dinosaurs, we came to know about the dinosaurs because of these fossils. The fossils of various kinds of dinosaurs. They were found in the soil, in the ground. So by studying that, that we got the more information when they existed, how they existed, what were their food habits and uh, uh, what members of the dinosaurs were vegetarians and what were carnivorous, dangerous and all these things we had come to know about that. Say for example, if you find the teeth of a particular dinosaur by understand, by looking at the teeth, the sharp teeth tells that it is a carnivore. The teeth might be having some kind of flesh or bone of another animal is attached. By testing that, yes, you can understand this one was eating some other animal. So this is a carnivore. So likewise, by studying the fossils, we get the information about the species that is not existed today. So the extinct species information can be studied by the studying of fossils. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.